Africa, the Dark Continent, is considered by many to be the home of big game hunting and an iconic destination for adventurers from across the globe. The tough terrain, the plethora of game and the challenging hunting conditions make South Africa the perfect location for any hunter wanting to test their mettle. The Bushveld is no place for the faint-hearted. It is here in South Africa's Eastern Cape that the Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Hunting Air Gun will take on the might of big African game. It's a little after dawn here at Nduna as we leave the lodge and head out into the bush. The culmination of over two years of research and development, the Benjamin Bulldog 357 is a revelation in airgun technology, but as yet has not been tested in the field. I'm keen to see if this new big bore air rifle lives up to the high expectations it set out on the range. It's supremely accurate and packs a mighty punch. It's light and manoeuvrable. Getting into tough spots and tight corners with a bulldog won't be an issue. And I know from experience that hunting at Nduna were almost certainly going to be crawling at some point. Just on the other side of the bush stands a lone Inyala. He has his eyes on a small group of mountain reedbuck, but they have their eyes on us. They aren't hanging around. Mountain reedbuck are a very skittish animal and our rustling in the bushes has been too much for them. However, it doesn't appear to have bothered the Nyala. It's still early and we head up and over the top of the hill towards the next valley. Once you've spooked a group of mountain rebuck, it's best to head on to fresh ground. They will run and alert anything that crosses their path with their high-pitched whistles and that can make for a very long day. We skirt the edge of the thick bush and the grass plains below. All seems very quiet. Gavin assures me there's usually game grazing on the edge of this plain and we move in a little closer. There's impala feeding under the trees. We move in closer again but they've been spooked. The strong swirling wind has the game on edge today. Stalking is going to be very tricky. We continue on our way through the bush, covering plenty of real estate. Gavin spots something through the bushes. There's an impala feeding. The rest of the herd is only yards away. We get down on the deck and crawl in closer. But they're soon unhappy. We look for another position. A herd of animals means there's plenty of eyes looking in all directions. Just one pair of eyes spots you and they run. The entire herd will follow we need to find some cover. The herd is spooked and begins to head out of the thick stuff. We get set on the edge of cover in the hope they head our way. I get the bulldog ready for what could be its first kill. The herd grazes out from behind cover, but the ram doesn't give me a clear shot. They're looking straight at us and soon head in the opposite direction. So close, but yet so far. As the sun begins to fade in the sky, we head through the bushveld once again. We return to the central plain on the estate.
there's a small group of zebra, but little else at the moment. As the afternoon draws in, we move to the opposite side of the hill. There's a few black wildebeest feeding in the open. Black wildebeest are extremely tough animals and difficult to get close to. Always in small herds, they find strength in numbers and prefer wide open spaces from which they can spot the approach of predators. Highly social animals, black wildebeest spend their days chasing each other around. It can be highly entertaining to watch. Unfortunately, these bulls are not what we're looking for at this moment in time. We watch them a little longer before they make a run for it down the hill. Today, we just haven't had the luck. And as the night closes in, we head back to the lodge. It's early morning and the sun is shining on the stunning Eastern Cape. I lock and load the Benjamin Bulldog, ready for action. Conditions are much better and the game has come out in droves. As we get into thicker cover, Gavin spots something. There's a lone diker feeding at the bottom of this valley. And there's plenty of cover between it and us. This is our chance. Being such a small animal, the diker has many predators here in Africa. They must always be alert, constantly surveying their environment and checking their surroundings for threats. I get it in the sights of the night sight. The shot is absolutely perfect. The diker skips but doesn't get far. The 145 grain Benjamin Extreme bullet by Nosler has done its job. Patented with a ballistic tip for increased accuracy and thermal performance, it has impacted exactly where I put the crosshairs. One shot fired, one animal down for the Benjamin Bulldog. Here we have it. Absolutely beautiful little diker great stalk um, so we, we came across the top of the ridge here yeah. it's just a nice little valley lots and lots of cover yeah um, you saw him what about 90 95 yards yeah 95 yeah um, yeah it was grazing down fortunately for us it was looking away from us grazing away from the sun and that and uh, I mean we had the sun on our back yeah uh, was a bit cautious about the wind coming over the the valley and that but it all planned out I mean we started from behind and it came in yeah, he grazed, looked up a couple of times, he didn't know we were there, um, and he gave us our So our what, what was the final distance then? Because he did wander away a little bit, he started we, off we, about 55. Yeah, we, we, we were at uh, about 60, uh, 60 yards, and then it went on to 65 yards. Yeah. Um, so as, as you'll be able to see from, from the footage, yeah. I just pulled the, um, only about an inch, inch and a half, a little bit higher than I'd normally shoot, the rifle zeroed yeah. um, for 50. So at 65, we know at 80, um, it drops about eight inches eight uh, from inches, a 50 yard zero. So I just gave it a couple of inches. So here we go. One shot, clear straight through. What'd you say, Gavin? Probably a little... I'd say eight inch. Uh, maybe an, an inch low, well, yeah. but straight, that'll yeah. be straight through the heart. So no problem. Yeah. It would have taken out heart, both lungs yeah. and uh, a clean pass through. So at 65 yeah. yards, clean pass through. Yeah. This, this literally is the first time this rifle has been hunting anywhere in the world. Uh, Benjamin have designed this specifically for big game hunting um, and then we're here to test out its capabilities. Now this is the, uh, the next step on from the Rogue which we've already taken quite a lot of game with in, the, in, uh, in previous trips. Uh, this is a lot more compact, shorter, lighter weight. It's got a lot more shot capacity and it groups a lot better. Um, we've got five uh, shot groups at about an inch at 50 yards uh, using the 145 grain Nozzer Extreme bullet. So yeah. this not only is a, an evolution of the Rogue, it really is a, a leap forward. And this is the first animal down and hopefully it's not going to be the last. So no, no. Gavin, no, well done. thank you brother. So here's a diker that we just, uh, we just took with a Benjamin Bulldog. 
Uh, and although it's a small animal, I still think it's quite important to have a look at the penetration, the uh, terminal performance uh, of the bullet. Now, as you can see here, there's the en entry wound and then the exit wound on the far side. Um, it took a slight deflection off the inside of the shoulder blade by the look of it and exited uh, through the leg. So that goes to show not only has it gone through the blades, but it's also uh, taken out the front leg at the same time. You can see the path of the bullet go and gives us a, a hand on the inside here. So entry straight through, as you can see, perfectly straight through the vitals. No problem there with accuracy whatsoever, which is really, really important on a really small animal such as a diker. Uh, 66 yards, which is the, uh, the, the shot that we took through the night sight and the Benjamin Bulldog, it pretty much put it exactly where we wanted it. I aimed a little bit higher, it dropped as you can see, smack into the vital area and once again absolutely perfect terminal performance uh, from the Bulldog. So, so far so good, really p pleased with the performance and now I think we're ready to take the next step. Let's go bigger. Fantastic, thank you. The Benjamin Bulldog and Nosler combo has yielded a clean kill and minimal meat damage. Perfect for harvesting game for the table the perfect end to a phenomenal hunt. To find out more about the incredible Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Hunting Air Rifle, visit crosman.com. Crosman, take it outside.